Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna introduce and review this very budget oscilloscope and signal generator from FNIRC. So if you look at the back, this product is from FNIRC and this is the model DSO-153. It's a very budget oscilloscope and signal generator which provides one channel on oscilloscope and of course the signal generator function as well. The device itself is quite cheap right now that I'm making the video. This device is almost 40 US dollars. If you are interested to learn more about this device, you can find the link in the video description or the first comment down below. You don't have so many buttons in here. There is one at the top. So if I turn it on, at the very first page, you have oscilloscope, signal generator, and settings. For moving between the options, you can use this scroll button at the top, and then you can select it from here as well. We can adjust some setting in here, like the language, theme, and the options for the shutdown. Back on the main page, of course, from here, you can use the oscilloscope. From there, you can use signal generator. For any of them, you can select from here, and this is what you see on oscilloscope page. The screen looks very small, but when you read the waveform, it's really important to see how good you can read the waveform. I'm gonna try this one today, but later on after making this video, I'm gonna make more videos using this oscilloscope on other systems and other components. Because this channel is about automotive tools, we're gonna see if this oscilloscope is any good for automotive diagnostic. So we have the voltage setting here that you can adjust the voltage per division. So you can move between the items using this. If I use this scroll button, I'm on X1. This is actually where you use the attenuation. I don't have attenuator right now, but you can actually get an adapter to put attenuator here as well. So you can actually change the attenuation by using these items. So you see X10, X1. So it supports X1 and X10 attenuation. And then you are on 10 milliseconds. You can adjust the time setting on horizontal axis when you are reading the waveform. You have the DC, you can change it to DC or AC. And run or stop is when you are reading the waveform, you can stop it as well. You have the trigger mode as well. You can adjust the trigger over here for getting a better view, for getting a good view when you are reading a waveform. This is for running and stopping the waveform. Using this tool, you can actually move up and down between the options. Some other information down here, which are very good for analyzing the waveform, like the maximum voltage, minimum voltage, average voltage, about the time as well. So you can use this one for diagnostic purposes. And if you go for the signal generator, again, using this scroll button, I can go right there. So you can select between different type of signals that you want. For example, right now it's on direct current. You can adjust the frequency, duty cycle, and amplitude of the voltage that you're gonna provide. You can switch this one to this point. And of course, from here, you can put this one on a signal wire that you are trying to simulate, and this is for a good ground. Of course, as I said, I'm going to try this oscilloscope and signal generator on more videos. So please don't forget to subscribe the channel for getting the notification when we upload new videos. So let's go on the car. I'm, I'm going to try the oscilloscope on this one on one system to give you some sort of idea about the operation of this device. But before starting, as I mentioned, please don't forget to subscribe the channel to get the notification when we upload the new videos and for supporting us please like the video and share it with your friends right now for this review video i'm gonna show you how this one can read the waveform of cam sensor so here's the cam sensor the middle wire is the signal so on the prop i'm gonna put this one right here on the signal and black one on a good ground oscilloscope is ready i'm gonna start the engine to see what sort of waveform we can get So let's click on the auto and see how this oscilloscope can adjust the waveform for us. So as you see, auto function adjusted the oscilloscope properly. So this is the waveform that we are getting right now from the cam sensor. So noise square waveform from the camshaft position sensor, which is reading the target wheel at the end of the camshaft. So we can read the 
maximum and minimum voltage here so the mean voltage is zero the max is almost five 4.88 this shows the normal operation of the camshaft position sensor so this is actually one example of this oscilloscope operation i'm gonna try this one on many other components so we can see if this one is any good for other purposes as well or not so please don't forget to subscribe the channel to get the notification when we upload new videos thank you very much for watching